friends, welcome to our Ridge Kids Clubhouse. My name is Carol. And my name is Tina. We're so glad you've joined us at the clubhouse today. We're getting very close to being ready for our ice cream sundae party. Yes, we are. And I have a super cool plan for us to try today. I thought we could try to make our very own homemade ice cream. What do you think? Ah, I'm not so sure about that. I've never made homemade ice cream before. But wait, do you have a super cool ice cream making machine? No, I don't have a super cool ice cream making machine and I've never made it before, but trust me, I think that this will be the best ice cream we've ever tasted. I have a plan, but I am gonna need some help. Okay, I'm willing to help. Where do we start? Well, I, I need a couple jars, one for each of us. Can you hand me a jar? Sure, ice cream in a jar? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's next? Well, we only need three ingredients, so going to need to take the lids off our jars and then we're going to pour in our heavy whipping cream into the jar. Oh, everyone pretend to pour into your jar at home. Okay, what's next? Next, we will have some sugar. Everyone grab your sugar, pour it in just like this. And last, we have our vanilla flavoring. So just drop a little vanilla in. Okay, it looks like we have all of our ingredients. I think I know what comes next. We need to put lids on our jars. We do. So okay. everyone, put a lid on your jar at home. Just pretend. And we have one final step. We need to mix all these ingredients together by shaking our jars. So kids at home, let me see you shake your pretend jars so we can make our ice cream. Here we go. All right, shake it really good. This is a super cool way to make ice cream. Yeah. But it doesn't really look like ice cream. Hmm. Well, that's because we have to put it in the freezer for a few hours, and then after you put it in the freezer and take it out, voila, you will have ice cream. Wow, I can't wait to freeze our ice cream so we can taste our homemade ice cream. Yes, and thank you so much for helping me. You know, your help really reminds me of our story today because we are going to learn about how Joseph helped Pharaoh to do something. He is going to help feed a lot of people who had no food. But before we get to that story, let's head over to the Wonder Clubhouse and see what our friend Kai is up to. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. It's me, Kai. I'm so glad you're all here today. I was getting ready for the big ice cream sundae party at the clubhouse. These pictures are a step-by-step -step plan on how to make the most fantastic, most spectacular, most yummiest to the tummiest ice cream sundae ever. Step one, you get a bowl, a spoon, and a napkin, and then you're ready to make an ice cream sundae. Step two, add ice cream to the bowl. It can be any kind of ice cream you want. Step three, add the toppings. Ice cream sundaes need lots of toppings. Step four, in what's the last thing we do with our ice cream sundae? We eat it, what a great plan. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? What are you up to? Hi, Ollie. Well, I just finished putting together my plan to make the perfect ice cream sundae. Yes, that is an excellent plan, it's true. I have a story about another great plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello friends. I'm Casey and I'm helping out at the cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest, most delicious creation? Ta-da! 
These are my sweet dreams cupcakes because in today's story, we're going to talk about someone who had some pretty amazing dreams. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. This is Joseph. He was put in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, the Pharaoh, had some dreams he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? What do cows say? Moo! You're right. <laughs> Dreaming about cows is funny. Wait, ooh, let's count the cows in Pharaoh's dream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Great job! Seven cows. The Pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? We make bread out of grain. Let's pretend to have a snack. <gasps> mm, yum. Mm, yum! Pharaoh wanted to know what his dreams meant. And drum roll, please. He asked Joseph to help him. Hooray! Joseph was brought out of jail straight to the Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh, that the dreams were from God, that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food, so they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. Wow! God's plan was for Joseph to help all these people. God has a plan for us too, and God's plan is the best plan. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <laughs> hey Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph followed God's plan, and we should too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Ooh. Wow! I loved that story. Joseph followed God's plan and helped so many people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm excited about following this plan. It's going to be delicious. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Isn't it fun that Ollie and his friends are making a plan for an ice cream sundae party just like us? It is fun, and ice cream is fun for everyone. I loved our story from the Bible today too, because just like we're making a plan for our ice cream party, I can remember that God has a plan for me. Yep, he had a plan for Joseph, and he has a plan for us. And our memory verse will help us remember that God has a plan, so let's say it together. I'm going to say the new verse, and then we'll say it together. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's say it together. Come on, little ice cream lovers. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's sing about God's plan. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a. Yes, he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome.
awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I know is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 'cause love will never change. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Today really helped me remember that God has a plan for me. Yes, God has a plan for me and a plan for you. Part of His plan is for us to help others. Yes, and one way that we can help each other is with our Step Up Challenge. Thank you. I hope all of you at home have been able to pick up your Step Up Challenge. But we have more, so just stop by the church to get yours. We are on week two of our Step Up Challenge, and it has really helped me to move closer to God. Me too. Did you all earn any points this week? I bet you did. We can't wait to see how many points you can earn this month. I'm loving the Step Up Challenge. Can you all say Step Up? Step, step up. up! See you next time! time.